Welcome everyone to the fourth tutorial in the AutoCAD Elite AutoCAD Secret Series. This tutorial is on dimensions. Now obviously we need dimensions in our drawing for people to understand what the drawing is and to be able to recreate it in a physical form or just to be able to read it and understand it. So AutoCAD has a lot of dimension uh, attributes and we can do a lot of customization that we won't go into in this video. I'll just show you guys the basics. Um, in my course at autocatalite.com, I show uh, everything there is about dimensions and customizing them for yourself. And in that, it goes through full um, half an hour tutorials on dimensions. But for now, we'll just go through the basics. Okay, so to dimension, basically everything you want to do with dimensions is right up here in the dimension toolbar. So we just click it and then here it has everything that we want to do with dimensions. Now for our first one we're going to choose the linear dimension and we're just going to dimension the end of this shape right here like so. Now we can't actually see the text on that because the text is rather small so what we do is I'll just select that and I go modify and then properties and then what I do is I go to text and scroll down and it's got a text height of 2.5 now because this line is rather large. I'll take that out to about 200. Okay, that's probably a little bit big, so we'll go down to 100, and that's easy to see. And voila! And what we can also do, just in the dimension one up here, is we can change the style of the dimension up here and we can also change the color in this toolbar here like so, so I've now changed that to red which makes the dimension stand out a little bit more okay the next dimension we're going to try is the quick dimension now the quick dimension is right here and it just chooses the most appropriate dimension for your geometry that you have as it says select geometry to dimension we choose what we want to dimension actually what I'll do is I'll draw a new line because that's an entire block so I'll draw a line for us to dimension that's 2000 just draw another line Okay, and what I'll do is I'll quick dimension that, and as it says, select geometry. So I choose this line and hit enter, and then I select where I want the dimension to go. So just underneath here is fine, and then again we go modify properties and we change this text height option to 100. Okay, so there we go. There is our dimension, and we can change the color. For a lot of my dimensions, I actually like the color magenta, as it stands out, but it's not too obtrusive like a red is. Okay, what I'll do next is I'll pan across, just to give us some more room in our drawing, and I will draw a circle, just over here, and we will use the radius and the diameter command. Now to do this again we go up to dimension and we choose the radius command for radius. Now we select the arc or circle like so and now we specify where we want our dimension to be situated which I'll choose right there and then again our text is too small. Now what we can do to make our text larger every time we insert is we actually go to dimension style which I cover in the full tutorial series um, on full DVDs but what we do is 
for this for the purposes of this tutorial we go modify properties and we go to text and we change our text height to 100 again and that gives us a good text see it says r600 because the radius of this is 600 okay and the last one we'll use is the diameter dimension we'll select the circle these dimensions are rather the circle dimensions are probably the easiest ones to use and I'll just hit uh, click there and now I select it again and go modify properties and I just change the text height to 100 and that's all done now see it's got the diameter symbol there at the start and 1200 okay so that's it for this tutorial on dimensions I hope you enjoyed it and as always um, if you want a step-by-step -step, uh, hand holding course into AutoCAD to allow you to reach your AutoCAD goals and make more money um, you can head to AutoCADElite.com and there is a course there okay bye bye